going on guys? Just got to my parents' house. Just about to show y'all you know, where I started. Got a lot of pictures, a lot of memories. Hear my mom and dad speak about me, so just come in and check it out. Let's go. First time I played was probably when I was say six years old, five, six. Mm. And, uh, literally they called it like D team, so that's when the young kids played. But I started when I was young. My dad was I guess you could say he was a coach, but he was always there. Yeah. My name is James, I'm Jonathan's father. I go from Little League to high school to Ohio State. This is my trophy wall right here. And this is where it all started at. Best friend, my homie, my dad, he's everything. Coach. Um, it's crazy because we're both quiet. But, you know, obviously when it comes to football, we know we know how to talk, you know how to communicate, and you um, know how to push me, when to push me. And um, he's a big reason um, where I'm at right now today in my life, so. Um, I don't want to get too choked up, but <laughs> yeah, that's my dog. I wanted him to play running back, yeah. uh, but he grew into a defensive lineman, as you can see. This is high school picture. He started in the ninth grade as a freshman on mm. varsity. He made all city his first year in high school right here. Four boys, all four of them I started in football. Mm. I trained all of them. I also coached on all the high school teams. Okay. I got a chance to be a part of the high school team. It was my dream, so I kind of want to pass it on to them. Mm. I wanted to play and go a little farther than what I did, but I'm okay that he did it. So, you know, you know, we'll help with my brothers and my dad. You know, eventually learning the game each and every year as I went. You know, my dad wasn't there, so I learned on the spot how to be a dad and to teach them to right the wrong, to do the right thing and go to school, go to class, you know. Yeah. And be successful is the way that he turned out to be. And um, kind of got to me, got me where I am at right now. That's my big homie right there. Yeah. Oh, you telling me? I'm just telling him where we started at as a little kid. Yeah. As he started at six years old, but he taught me a lot. Yeah. I learned a lot from my older brothers. I play so once I started playing it just came natural. This picture right here, he was eleven years old. Like the one that has the half uh, he actually was the kickoff man too. Oh well, he used to kick off he everything. He did he pretty much yeah. did everything. He was whatever he told you it's true. He did all of that. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everybody admired him, everybody always came to watch him play. It wasn't easy. I mean, I'm sixty years old. I grew up in the sixties, so at that time a lot of um, Craziness. A lot of parents wasn't together like me and his mom. Yeah. Today, me and his mom, we've been together almost 31 years, so I think that made a big difference, you know, in their lives that they have both parents in the house. I like it, bro. I love her. That's my mom. I don't want to say I'm my mama's boy, because I spent majority of my time with my dad, but um, my mom was like my best friend, too, man. Like, anything and everything I needed, she got it for me. Um, she was always supporting me. Be in there for me, so you know, I think I had like the best you know, parents that I can ask for, and that all my siblings can ask for, and they did an amazing job with you know eight kids. So that that should tell you a lot about them. <laughs> Growing up, and he started playing little league football. I didn't approve of it though. <laughs> One year I told him he couldn't play because I felt that the sport was just too much, too rough. I was scared of my baby getting hurt. So I told him he couldn't play. He cried and cried and cried. And Ted's daddy come to me and say, let him play. This is his brother who started him. I started him off first. He named Robert. He played running back. You know him right there. That's him right there. He used to play like tailback before he got on the line. Though. I don't know what made him want to be a, a lineman. <laughs> he was good at what he was doing though when he was playing football, but he stuck with it when people said he couldn't do it. He, he just kept going for it and trying and trying and trying. And he finally made it there. I think he loves where he at. 
I'm proud of my brother and uh, that's my little brother right here, man. He a football player now. He, he one of the top tens. And he's one of my number one. <laughs> he one of my number ones for life. He was a good kid growing up. All through middle school, high school, he never was in any type of trouble. No run, no streets, no run with the bad crowd. He did none of that. Mm. So he was a very good child. Yeah, he's quiet. Yeah. When he want to be. <laughs> you know? Very now and then, he won't shut up. You know? Yeah. But otherwise, he's pretty laid back. Mm. He was always good at what he did yeah. on that field. Mm -hmm. Yes, because that's the love he had for football. He really did. People came to watch him play, even at an early age. And they knew that he was playing, they all came to watch him play. Well, I was originally committed to the University of Florida. Because mm -hmm. um, at that time, the Gators was like the best college football team. But, um, of course, my end up stepping down. Um, Michigan State didn't want to offer me whoever the de defensive coordinator was. Um, talk to him. That was a little stressful for him, you know. Well, he was kind of stressed because Michigan didn't give him an offer until it was, until he started taking tours at different schools. So he took a tour at Columbus, Ohio. And that's where he felt that his heart was. So then after he decided to go to Ohio, then that's when Michigan wanted to come in and try to make him an offer. But by then, it was too late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I picked Ohio State, and it worked out, man. Like, you see us now, still the best university, the best college football team is out there. But um, now I'm glad I, I picked it. It was close enough for my family to get there, or it was close enough for me to drive and go back and forth, so. Were you guys Michigan fans? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still so, is. Still is. How yeah. is that well, going? Not, He's just saying that because yeah. his son played for different, because his son played for Ohio. I'm still a Michigan fan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still a high, uh, Ohio State fan, too. Mm -hmm. so. was, that, was that tough when he had to go to the rival school? Yeah. Because yeah. no. I didn't want him to go away. I wanted him to stay in Michigan. So I looked at Florida, Virginia, Alabama. Wisconsin was like really my first choice, but it was like one of those things where like I got my first offer was from Bowling Green, but my second one was from Wisconsin. So when I got that one, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then after that, they all just started rolling in. So I'm like, dang, I kind of like the other schools too. You know? <laughs> we decided that he wasn't going to go to Michigan because we talked yes, about it, me and him. He's going to go to Ohio State. Yeah. I was okay with it. Tell him how long he was going to go. Had he got, had they came along earlier, in his senior year, I offered him, he would have went, but it didn't, never, it didn't, the offer never came. So. Yeah. And he was kind of upset about it. He got over it real quick when yeah. he got, went to Ohio State. I just flipped a coin with me and my dad. I was like, man, we're somewhere that's not too close, but good ways away where they can come visit me. And um, it was between Ohio State and Alabama, so. Before Ohio State, he was going to go to Florida State. Because mm. that's where Michael Irving. No, not Michael what was Irving. His no, no, no. He was going to go to Florida. Trussell? No. Who Irving was Meyer. it? Irving Myers was the coach. In Florida. Yeah, he said Florida that's, State. I mean, Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was going to go there, but so happened that he ended up coming to coach for Ohio State. Mm. Proud of these boys right here. Mr. Tutal and Mr. Jonathan Hankins. Ohio State University and Michigan State University. It was only a two and a half star, so, you know. Obviously, once they watched the film and they seen what I was capable of doing, you know, they start coming in, but ultimately chose to be a buck out. Short throw to the tackle to be made immediately, and now he's sacked by Jonathan Hankins. Came a long way, you know, all the hard work, all the, you know, busting people's heads pretty much got me to where I am right here right now. I can honestly say being the oldest of eight, it was fun. It was. Oh my God. Um, 
I can honestly say it's been like a movie because he's been playing since he was little. Mm -hmm. Little, then go to high school, then go to college, now he in the NFL. I'm like, wow. Like, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. Most kids don't get to live like that or mm -hmm. do that. So, it was nice. Right. It's nice to say that I have a brother that played for the NFL. Yeah. Yeah, that rocks. He just played football. Mm -hmm. Like, that was it. He wasn't, he didn't run the neighborhood, none of that. He just played football and went to school. That was it. Besides the fact that he ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day. Like, it was just peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> that was it. We didn't do trouble. Yeah, I love that about your family. We didn't do trouble. We didn't have problems. We didn't fight much. <laughs> much. <laughs> but, you know, we didn't have problems at all. We wasn't, um, everybody liked us. That was Hank when he was real little. Ooh, spoiled. And then just one day he just sprouted. He was just taller than me. And then he was asking me, can he get my keys to my car? And I'm just looking like he was just, wow. <laughs> he was the baby of six other kids, mm -hmm. five other kids. So whatever he asked for, he got. He's sweet. Like he's like a, he's a big bear. He's just sweet. He's very considerate. And he don't mind helping. So... I mean, he just Jonathan. When people be like, oh, Jonathan, I'd be like, oh, you talking about Jonathan? Well, I worked at a bakery yeah. for 17 years. Wow. And I worked at a car wash. Mm. Yeah, I, oh, this 30 years now, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys were, you guys been working hard just your whole life to, you know, yes. take care of your family? Yes. We seem to go through a lot as in working to maintain a house of eight. But they did good. I, I hate the fact she got an iPhone because she FaceTimes. She time. FaceTimes. We messed up. <laughs> I was fine with her having an Android because I could just hear her voice. Now you gotta go. Now I'd have to be like, yes, ma. Mm -hmm. My dad don't do it that much unless he ain't seen you and he'd be like, what you been? Come up here and get your car wash. Okay, I'll be up there. But my mama, she called you four, five times a day. I want to say we're close knitted. We're very family oriented. This is my mini Hank. His name is Jeremy. Oh, yeah. He's perfect. I love him. He looks like little Hank. Hello, Raider Nation. <laughs> you go through your trials and tribulations, but the love that you have for one another, that's all that matters. It can get you through a whole lot of things. With the 49th pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, the New York Football Giants select Jonathan Hankins. I got drafted. I got drafted to the Giants. Didn't go where I expected where I was gonna go, but I, you know, got drafted second round, 49th pick. Played well for the New York Giants for all four years, and you know, I got my second deal when I uh, finally, you know, bought my parents a house, bought them all, you know, their own cars and. You know, just gave back to, you know, with all the hard work, you know, long hour days they put in to make sure I had everything I need. So just thought I had to, you know, repay them and, you know, take a little you know, weight off them shoulders. Till this day, I'm still trying to, you know, improve and find things to help them out in and, you know, constantly, you know, grow as a man.